Yeah, I bet we could find something that would scare the pants off of you. Which would scare me. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Where are we gonna do this? Pick me, pick me! I have a scary story! This isn't the one about you getting trapped in the petting zoo again, is it? Because that's not scary. Actually, if you look at it from my perspective... Hey, guess what? But okay, no one cares! They're gonna do that all the way home. I, I gotta go. They were my ride. The kindly innkeeper was warm and friendly. She made me feel all bubbly inside. Don't worry, little buddy. <gasps> it was Prince Charming. He was packing heat, and he wanted revenge. I want revenge. Do anything. The plan. Just like a crazed maniac. <laughs> Wearing a pink tutu. No. And a sombrero. Oh. And a coconut brassiere. Oh. And about to be eaten alive. No. Please. Please, I'll switch the pancakes. No. Oh. Oh. But what Puss didn't know is that right behind him was the one thing he feared more than anything else. No, you wouldn't. I would. You didn't. I did. Whoa. You all ready for this? Break it down. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Everybody sing now. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Get up off your boot tape. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Figure in a tail end of your plans. Button up your horse suit. There he is now, Bruno. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> What's the matter with you, horse? Haven't you ever seen a pretty face before? <laughs> it worked out fine, eh, Snidely? We got Dudley's horse, just like you said. Yes, everything worked out fine, except I can't get out of this horse suit. Well, you got into it. I know. Oh, I got into it, but now the zipper is stuck. Oh, well, I'd better run over and see how the morale is at the fort. You! Me? Why me? Because Wanda's sick and I need you to fill her shoes. No, <laughs> let's just have a peek into our magic looking glass, children. <laughs> I need to get changed. Looking fine. Hey, good looking. What's your name? Okay, just gotta get home before anyone else sees me. this. What a dainty little foot. Oh no, he really thinks I am a girl. Okay, nice and easy, Gackety. Stay calm, just act natural and everything will be okay. Thanks, see ya. Hey, where are you going? Uh, I need to buy knitting needles, lipstick, skirts, and other girl things. I should go. Yeah, I should go too. The end of the season punch-ups in a few hours, and I still haven't lined up the entertainment. Really? I know someone who'd be perfect. The brilliant comedian, Yakety Yak. <laughs> He's so funny, don't you think? Whatever you say, Miss... Miss... Um, Victoria! Right, gotta go! And make sure you get Yakety Yak for the show. Yeah, I know this is a bit sudden, but... <clears throat> Would you go to the punch-up with me? What? I mean, uh, sure, whatever. 
Bye! Great! Meet me at the candy shop, 8 o'clock. I'll be the one wearing... Uh... Well, this! I'm so glad you're here. Sorry, lady, we gave it the office. Yo, it's me! Yakety? Wow, I really thought you were a girl. So did Rondo. He just asked me to go to the end of the season punch-up as his date. Oh, no. Here comes Lemony. Don't tell her it's me. If it gets back to Rondo, I'm history. Oh, hey, Lemony. I'd like you to meet my good friend, uh, uh... The Victoria! Don't you even know your girlfriend's name? Girlfriend? No! Don't you know who this is? This is, uh, Rondo's girlfriend. And, Victoria, let's make sure we sit together. <laughs> I'm not going! If you don't go, Lemony doesn't go. If Lemony doesn't go, I don't have a date. And I've got to have a date with Lemony, because I don't know why. I just do. Besides, it's going to be the most happening party this year. We gotta go! <laughs> okay. I'll be Victoria for one more night. But you owe me. Deal. I just hope Rondo doesn't figure out it's me. Trust me, no one's gonna have a clue that Yakety Yak is there. Yak, baby, I know I let you down on that last gig, but I'm making it up to you. I just booked the one and only Yakety Yak at this year's end of the season punch up. Who knew Rondo liked you so much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Playing with a broken arm, I dodge three goons from the other team, fire the ball to Woody, and score! Classic story, Rondo, classic! <laughs> Belching contest! <laughs> well, looks like Rondo... <laughs> Pardon? Nice gas, Victoria. Ah! I mean, who's this? Victoria, this is Mr. High Pants. Charm. Rondo, have you seen Yakety? He was supposed to start ten minutes ago. Uh, I have to go to the ladies' room, so if I see him, I'll tell him to hurry up. I'll come with you. No! I mean, no problem. <laughs> Do you always use the men's? Of course. Good not. What are you doing? Uh, it's just so bright in here. I'm not really sure how to put this stuff on. Can you help me? You okay? Um, here we go. Oh. Uh, I always thought lipstick was supposed to go on the lips. This way you get a fuller look. So where are you from? Oh, uh, Steelsville. My father is a barber there. <laughs> now, how about you get us some more punch? Eh, sure thing. So, your father, has he ever killed anyone? He's nicked a few people in the ear, if that's what you mean. Oh, like during an interrogation? No, like during a haircut. But, Keo said your father's an international spy. You told me he's a barber. I can explain. You see, he's an international spy barber. Oh, run in my nylon. Be right back. Okay, please welcome back Yakety Yak. Yakety. Yakety. Victoria, you're not like the other girls. <laughs> Have you seen Victoria? She just won the big draw, but asked to claim her prize in person. Congratulations! You won the big prize! Two tickets to next year's punch-up! Hey, I hear you're from Steelsville. Me too, but I've never seen you before. Well, you know, it's a big place. It was, until they flooded most of it to build a water reservoir. Really? When did they do that? A hundred and fifty years ago? Uh, right. Now I remember. Listen, 
I heard your papa's an international spy barber. Well, I can cut hair and keep a secret. Can you set up a meeting with me and the old man? Oh, he's really busy. <laughs> Dealing with lots of hairy bad guys. Oh, please, let me just show him my stuff. And did you say your father's the town barber? Because our only barber's a woman. Actually, she's a sheep shearer. Boy, is it hot in here. Rondo, I think I want to go for a walk and get some fresh air. Sure. I can take a hint. <laughs> Where is he anyway? Well, if Yakety's gone, I, I guess we don't have to pay him. Now, about your dad. And about Steelsville. And about that walk. Now I gotta find Yakety. No way! Come back! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you through all that, buddy. But hey, you didn't get caught. So, want to join me and Keel for a movie, Yakety? I was thinking a spy thriller. Or maybe I should say a spy barber thriller. <laughs> Speaking of real, how about getting me some real coffee, Mrs. Wiggins? Just like old times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh! He knows! Oscar, do something! Oh, there you are, Mr. Goldfish Bird. Mr. Fishtooth will see you now. Thank you, Carol. La, 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 la. I'm a hot to trot secretary. Here come the boss. Here come the boss. Mr. Fishtooth, meet Mr. Goldfish Bird. Oh, uh, I see some boxes. Give this man a job. He's got good eyes. We sell boxes. Mrs. Wiggins, why don't you show Mr. Goldfish Bird everything that we have here? At a real... Company, which is real and not fake. Okay, so far so good. This would be your cubicle. An office with a view? How lucky am I? <laughs> oh, Mr. Goldfishberg, you're such a card. Now here's a list of our clients. Just call them up and sell them some boxes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my! Okay, so now we need to get. Hey, what's going on here? Whoa! Oof. Hi. I think if we can just get through dinner and keep doing this until I graduate, then everything should be fine. What did you say this dish was called? Uh, All right, it looks like we're done here, so Mr. Fishtooth, you can leave. I have an announcement to make. Oh, that's great, Jack. Uh, you did what? Uh, excuse me, I'm not feeling well. Uh, me too. We actually made no boxes. In fact, the ones we had when we started are broken now. Oh, no! This is please. so sad! Oh, I won't let this happen! You guys have done so much for me. I mean, you failed, but you really tried. I'll never find friends like you and Fish Phoenix. Friends who would do all this just to keep you here. It just box order. But how, Mr. Goldfishberg? We tried making boxes. Wow, Dad! Another thousand boxes? You're like this amazing salesman. I'm not moving! Yeah! 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 And all of you are fired! Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't put my family in that kind of danger. Not to mention myself. You won't. Me and Fallopard will dress up like Delandra and Marilyn and go in their place. We'll flesh Cootie out. Well, that's stupid. It's dangerous, and it has absolutely no chance of working. Other than that... So you do it? Yep. Oh, banana lips. What a lovely vacation spot, huh? Just the three of us all alone with no one to help us for miles. How come I have to carry the suitcases? Lucky, we have to make this look convincing. Cootie may be watching. All right. Daddy, can I have some candy? Yes, she's daddy's little girl, all right. She has your appetite and my nose. Oh, oh sorry. You can have my back. Marilyn, the things you say. Yeah, the things I say. All right. <laughs> so, where's that candy already? Shut <laughs> up. Taking a dip, sweet pay. I'm glad you finally found a way to relax. I'm going to pick up a pizza while you're swimming. Come along, my darling daughter. 
Okay. Mommy, dear. We're not too late. Let's get him. Stay calm. I'm on my way. Oh. If we resurrect me, Arthur. Reboot it. Renew it. Just view it. If you want to make some easy cash, just recycle and rehash. Repeat it. Reinstate it. Reheat it. Recreate it. There's no need to feel frustrated. Simply just regurgitate it for a guaranteed rating smash. Dig it up out of the trash. Come on. Just reboot it. <laughs> so who wants to begin? Okay, Ed, show us what you got. Da -da 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 -da. I love to go exploring with a little girl named Lauren. Some say her show is boring, but it's then my spirit soaring. Episodes they shoot for more in. To the TV schedule, then I would be adoring. That little girl named Lauren. All the hours of the day which there are 24 in. Uncle Jack, this dressing up in costumes is getting boring. <laughs> Can we do something a little more shocking? Shush, Megabolt. You'll spoil my little drama. But ere uh, our fine amusement may commence, and his supercharged pal, Megavolt, the city is being robbed blind, and you act like nothing's happening. Not so fast, evil doers. My, my, aren't we in a huff? Mr. Banana Brain says, why don't you relax, Max? You really know how to bring down the house, Zipwing? <laughs> I'll bring you down! <laughs> Another electrifying performance, Megavolt! <laughs> Let's amuse the man, compadres! Music to soothe the savage beast! <laughs> Look, here comes our new bestest friend, Puppet Pal Crunk. Hey, hey Puppet, Puppet Pal, Pal Crunk. Crunk. Hey, Puppet Pal Mitch. Hey, Puppet Pal Clem. Blast! I took Mother's makeup kit by mistake. Oh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. <gasps> Superintendent Chalmers. Oh, my God. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Fake mustache! Makeup! Wigs? Nah. A princess tiara? Yeah! I'm bald and I'm proud! We're done! Hey, suckers! I need you to do something for me. Yay! More charity work! Yeah, 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 exactly. You see that man? It'll spoil the surprise if he sees me here. I'm pretty famous in the charity business. Oh, I get it. So you distract him for me. Yay! <laughs> ah! Let go of me! <laughs> they have screaming ladies to rescue. Uh, actually, many superheroes are mere mortals. My favorite. The Incredible Owl Man catches thieves just like mice. But come morning, he puts his pants on one leg at a time. Just like the rest of us. Speak for yourself, boy. Too bad we got here late and they only had one costume left for you. Princess Flufflepuff, master of the flying kittens. Come on, you look adorable. Never speak of this again. Census taker! Good day, kind sir. Would you like to buy some Gill Scout cookies? 
Ow! Now, you and Monroe stay put. Don't leave me here! They're breaking out the baby clothes! Stay put. I gotta go to Grandma's. No skirt. It makes my thighs look huge. The times they were happy, and the clothes were snap, snap, snappy. Oh, yes, yeah,